now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the match you have all been waiting for. Here to celebrate, aren't we? Hold on to that thought. Brodick. It's Ramon. Who? It's Ramon. Ah, Ramon. Como estas, mi amigo? So, what's the ETA on our guest from Southeast Asia? It's loaded. We're leaving. I knew I could count on you. Call me if you have any problems, will you? Just remember these deliveries. And the more than the reasonable compensation will be awaiting you and your associates upon your arrival. Good. But you had a quick stupid cunt. Did you tell the hack I said hi? Believe it or not, the hack has our package and it's en route as we speak. You know, you still haven't told me what the package is. Well, no, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if I told you now, would it? All right, let's move on. What the fuck? So, it's awake. He's been shut up with 2,000 cc of track. It's awake now. I don't think he's supposed to do that if he's sleeping. No, it's not. It is 
supposed to be your gem. You're gonna open it? You are. Hit the blue button. But the blue button. Is that thing awake? The blue button only opens the side panel, just enough room to help with these things with dreams for the rest of the trip. Blue button. Run out of hot water? No! I just got attacked by a fucking anaconda in there! Lucky for you, the bite of a common garter snake is non lethal. You shit! You know I hate snakes! And so I was merely trying to condition you for this weekend's hunt. You're kidding me. That's where Ramon flew in from overseas, a snake? Not just a snake, babe. This one is a real monster, and it's all ours. Unless, of course, you're too afraid, in which case, the boys and I are going to have to have all the fun. I said that I hated snakes. I never said I was afraid of them. That's my girl. Oh!
Talk to me, Ramon. This is Clover Trucking Services. You leased one of our trucks. Is there a problem? Well, sir, we haven't heard from the drivers, and they aren't answering our pages. Why the hell not? I don't know, sir, but I can connect you to the shift supervisor. They've lost the trucks. I told you Ramon was a hack. Fat fuck! Do you realize how much money I spent for this weekend? The gentlemen I've invited are extremely wealthy and extremely well connected. And they are flying out here for the sole purpose of hunting a giant snake. What am I supposed to do now? Offer them an Easter egg hunt? According to local police, the two vehicles and the remains of five bodies were found by state police earlier this morning. County officials have yet to determine whether the accident... Do you want me to call the boys and tell them the hunt is off? No. Or when the crash occurred specifically... Just tell them we're simply rescheduling the dates and location. ...of the vehicles. Sources tell us of huge crates filled with high-yield explosives, automatic weapons, and what appears to be a, a gigantic pet cage for this reporter we may be in the beginning of an appearance by Al-Qaeda in the middle of the heartland of Middle America. For Channel 15, Action News, I'm Kent Humphreys. And we're up. In Action News is more like it. Al-Qaeda looks more like a big car wreck. Uh, that's why you are where you are and I am where I am. Lewis? Really? I thought maybe it was because I'm the cameraman and you're the reporter, Ken. <laughs> That's us. Start rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Kent Humphreys, Channel 15, Action News. So is the government officially deeming this an accident, a multiple homicide, or possibly an Al-Qaeda terrorist operation? Al-Qaeda? Yes. I wouldn't know. I just got here. Well, certainly this is an interesting position to be in, uh, Agent... Sharp. Now, if you don't mind. Was the government willing to say anything about the interior of the vehicle, what was inside, or about the men, who they were, and what they were doing, and any possible connection to any Al-Qaeda terrorist operation? I wouldn't know. I just got here. So there you have... So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first on Channel 15 Action News. A possible terrorist operation foiled. Five men in the prime of their lives struck down in this senseless tragedy. What were their names? What were they doing? Why were they here? Kent Humphreys, Action News. Agent Sharp, what do you think of this? Do we tag this as body number six? I think it's what's left of bodies two, three, four, and five. Case. That's a big scale. It's a big case. What is that? I thought you should have number six. 
Yeah, I did. What a hell. Carl! Carl! Would you mind putting my evidence back, Deputy? Oh, sorry. I found this in the back of the truck. Deputy, where exactly does that lead? Ah, uh, that's one of the access tunnels to the Philadelphia Water Treatment Plant. Thank you, Deputy. Maybe you should go clean up. I think you got a piece of liver on your chin. Right. Maybe I should. Looks like it's some sort of tranquilizer dart. But for what? I'm not sure yet, but whatever it is, it woke up. Agent Sharp, I just got a call from the treatment plant. Apparently they were just attacked. Attacked by what? I just had a giant snake. Call the plant back, tell them I want this entrance sealed. All main lines connected to it turned off. The facility itself evacuated. Sir, if I understand you right, are you asking me to have them turn off the only major source of water for this half of the state? I'm ordering, deputy, not asking. Agent Sharp, I don't mind telling you that people in this state get a little upset when their toilets don't flush and the sinks are dry. See. We'll need maps and diagrams of every aqueduct, pipe, and tunnel, all ways leading in and out of that system. That thing's down there, and I'm not about to let it back out, at least not until we can call in some serious firepower. So call in two reserve units, get the highway patrol to lock off all traffic within a five-mile radius, and then I want everything we've got on the Larson project. That was a CIA project gone bad. A couple of big snakes that got loose in Russia and then wiped out the entire team. Yes, just get me the file. Right. And get me Monica Bonds. minutes isn't bad, but I can beat it. Tyler here's half fish. Oh, yeah? Wow, look at that guy. Bet I can take him. I don't think so, Cupcake. I got 50 bucks that says I can. OK, OK, I'll take that action. Make that too. This is going to be sweet, man. Tyler was in Navy SEAL school, well, before he got discharged. Really? I've done a little Navy ordinance in mine sweeping myself. You searched for mine? Yep. With Navy divers? Nope.
move. Come on, buddy, speak to me. You all right, bro? Come on, bro. Wake up. Here, let me know. Listen, lady. I know what the hell you did to him down there, but just, just stay back. Bro, you all right? You okay? There he is. You all right, dude? He's like a win. Bro, you got spanked by a chick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Uh-huh. 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 Thank you. Want to come Who's asking? Agent Sharp wants to see you. There is a car waiting for you outside to take you to the airport. So, how are things at the Institute? Great. We got three new dolphins coming in next month. Working hard and making some real progress. I could see that. Didn't exactly have time to put a full ensemble together. I appreciate you coming on such short notice, Monica. With you, Alan, it's always short notice. So what are we doing way out here in the backcountry? Your boys told me to pack for Philadelphia. How well does your equipment work out of the water? Why do I suddenly get the feeling you're about to ask me to just hand over four years of research, no questions asked? Haven't exactly had a chance to field test it out of the water yet, but the sensor pads were designed for wet or dry applications. It should work fine. Well, you're about to get your field test. Compliments of Uncle Sam. What kind of doctor is he? Dr. Emmett is one of the world's leading herpetologists. It's kind of creepy. I haven't even met the men. In my book, people who play with snakes are creepy. It's locked. Maybe there's another entrance. Damn it. He's probably got the whole crazy, bug-eyed, Christopher Lloyd, Jeff Goldblum, mad scientist thing going on. Pasty skin, doesn't see the sun much. Definitely has social interaction issues. Agent Sharp? <gasps> yeah. No, he's... Alan Sharp. Federal Bureau of Investigation. And this is Monica Bonds with the Miami Aquatic Research Institute. Hi. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Uh, please come in. Thank you. Impressive lab. I used to be. Sort of working out of pocket for the moment. The place requires constant funding. I know the feeling. Doesn't it bother you in the least working with these things? I mean, one bite in your history. Snakes are just like other creatures. Respect them and they'll respect you. You just have to know what you're doing, especially with the poisonous kind, like the one you're tapping there. I understand you've grown a rather large snake here on the premises. She's a constrictor, Scarlet Queen Boa. May we see her? for a snake? You uh, might want to stay close. It's a little smaller than I imagined. Well, this isn't Betty. This is Betty's lunch. You feed snakes to snakes. 
I inject the food snakes with a dose of venom extract, which is uh, then digested by the scarlet boa. Won't that kill her? No, the doses are minute, absorbed into her bloodstream before she even knows they're there. Her system then works to create an antibody, which uh, I can then harvest. Betty is the largest constrictor on the reserve, probably the uh, largest scarlet boa on the planet, and she produces a vast amount of antibody for my You're research. You're creating an anti-venom. Oh, I'm trying to, anyway. That's all extremely interesting, Doctor, but hardly the reason I came. Where's the boa? <laughs> well, she's standing on him. officially curious. Assuming we didn't come all the way out here just to see some gigantic snake, I'm dying to know what kind of situation could possibly require the use of his boa and my implant. Dr. Emmett, how well would your boa perform in an uncontrolled environment? Well, I wouldn't know. She's the first of her kind to be born and raised entirely in captivity. Would she hunt? Absolutely. Snakes, no matter how they're raised, will have the instinct to hunt. It's a matter of survival. In that case, I'd like to use your boa to help me find this. Here comes a party. Good friend Tex from Lubbock. <laughs> Mr. Foley, our military's greatest sniper. Try not to stare so hard, Eve. <laughs> Mr. Danner and... His son, James. Wife took the truck. Good old family get-together. <clears throat> I thought there was one more. There is. Littlefield. Master Huntsman. Gentlemen, glad to see you all could make it to our little safari. I apologize once again for the last minute change in venue. Luckily, rearranging one's travel plans becomes a lot easier when one has access to their own jets. A series of unfortunate events has uh, somewhat complicated the hunt I'd promised to deliver to you. However, being that I am a man of my word, I've decided to do one better. That's why I'm going to deliver you to the hunt. Babe, would you do the honors? I'm sorry, uh, would anyone else care for a drink? We are fully stocked here, so choose your poison. An ashtray and a beer. I'll uh, make it two. All the Sprite, please. You know, can I have a cold one? Two, actually. Uh huh. And for you, Mr. Foley? Surprise me. 
Since this is my first time hunting this particular predator, I thought it only fitting that I invite down those associates who would truly appreciate the experience. And I assure you, this is a once in a lifetime, gentlemen. An experience that will truly separate the men from the beasts. We are hunting one of the most cunning predators on this planet. We are the knights that are going to slay the dragon. Now, if you take a look inside the expedition dossiers my beautiful associate Eve has prepared, you'll see I've taken the liberty of mapping out a few routes. We will be landing outside Philadelphia in approximately two hours, at which point we shall depart for the hunt at 7 a.m. sharp. So, you're telling us that this, this thing is on the loose and that you are going to find it? Exactly. The only thing that you need to concern yourself with, gentlemen, is your aim and how you like your snake, belt, boots, or wallet. Well, in that case, gentlemen, ma'am, to the hunt. To the hunt. Oh. So the Philadelphia water treatment plant won't let me go after this python by spraying poisons or chemicals near the water supply. And I'm not about to send our men blindly down there just so they can become snake bait. But with your expertise and BOA and your equipment, I believe we can successfully locate and eliminate that python. So using my implants, we can track the BOA as it tracks the python and see every move she makes. Exactly. Let me get this straight. You want to attach that to my BOA and use it to hunt down the python that this belongs to. Well, congratulations, it's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Is it? The Navy trains seals and dolphins to sweep for mines. The Army uses dogs for security and tactical engagement. It's a hell of a leap from dogs and dolphins to wild reptiles. Well, it's not as great a leap as you think. The CIA has been conducting extensive tests on the potential combat and covert ops applications concerning specimens such as then yours. Why does the yours, CIA Doctor? use its own specimens? Because their point man on the project was forced to take an unfortunate leave of absence during a mission in Russia. The project's dead. So we're the best you got, huh? Yes. And I guess the question is now is uh, whether that stuff's actually going to work. I've been successfully using the implants on bottlenose dolphins for months. With the digital microcam, audio sensors, and GPS monitor in this unit, we can practically monitor your bow as every move. And I've called in military reinforcement to back up our operation. Hmm. Well, most snakes are territorial, especially the big constrictors. Your point being? You take two scorpions, put them in a shoebox, they're both going to want to own that shoebox, and they'll fight it out till one of them does. Okay, good. So your bow will attack that python. Yeah, if she picks up the scent, yeah, she'll attack. Theoretically. Then what? After the bow has done her job, she'll be returned to the lab. After she's been immobilized, of course. Immobilized how? Well, that you're going to have to let me look into. All right, we better get a move on. It's almost dark, and unlike most snakes, the uh, constrictors are crepuscular. <laughs> Sorry, I must have skipped biology class that day. That means they're active mostly at dusk and dawn, which means that your python has probably already figured its way out of the tunnel system. Impossible. I've got three teams working in conjunction with local authorities shutting off every conceivable inch of pipeline and tunnel leading in and out of the air. Agent Sharp, judging by the size of that scale, we're talking about an 80 to 100 foot reticulated python. If it wants out, it's getting out.
What was that? What? I... No, I heard something. All right. Touch my car again, and I'll kick your ass. Yeah. No, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh, 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 relax, let Lester take over. Who? Lester, you know, uh... You named your dick Lester? Well, not me, no, actually Candace did. One night we were uh, kind of... Okay, no, total mood killer. You know, I liked it better when it was just you and me and Lester. Don't stop. Oh. 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 Give it to me, Brian. Oh. Good. Keep me posted. Tracking's good. Is that the immobilizer? Stun spike. Hit the remote, she gets 80,000 volts, should knock her out. Can she survive that much voltage? You just worry about her surviving your equipment, all right? We're only surgically attaching the contacts and sensor pads. She won't even know they're there. I promise. How's she doing? Well, heart rate's not where it should be. I'm breathing shallow. Implanting that equipment took a lot out of her. She lost a lot of blood. Is there anything we can do? We'll just wait and see. Workers at a local water treatment plant just a few miles from here were killed today in what government officials are deeming an accident. But it is the opinion of this reporter that there is something more pungent than the fetid smell of stale humidity in the air tonight. And that's the stench of government half-truths. In a time when lies can cause war and wars create deception, we need something more than facts. We need something more than government stories about accidents. We need the truth. This is Kent Humphreys, Channel 15, Action News. Um, you want to take it again, or...? Why? Weren't you rolling? Yes. Just that I thought you were... It was a little, you know... Big. A little much. Hard-hitting journalism is always big. That's what real news is, Lewis. Sensationalism in its purest state. Well, Ken, I'm not sure how this uh, routine works. I'm creating my own signature journalistic style, Lewis. Don Rather has a signature style. Walter Cronkite had a signature style. But this makes you look like a schmuck. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you know something, Lewis? You are frigging fired. Not again. As of now. You can't. You can't fire me. Oh, I can this time. You've crossed 
the line. Oh, the reception? What the hell do I pay these idiots $200 a month for? $200? Maybe you should get a better flat. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep walking until I find a signal, and then I'm calling Jack Donner down at the station, and I'm gonna have you fired, Lewis. Do you understand me? Jen, come on, I'm just trying to help you be a better reporter. Your next gig will be cable access, Lewis. Besides, uh, Jack hates you much more than I do. Yeah, Kent Humphreys for Jack Donner, please. Hello. God damn it! Lewis? So, did you finally get a signal? Here you go. Thanks. So, tell me more about your anti-venom. Oh, it's a uh, universal anti-venom. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. See, most are created to counteract the toxins of a specific species. So consequently, a large number of victims die needlessly every year simply because they can't help identify the snake that bit them. See, the situation is much worse in Africa, South America, regions with large concentrations of poisonous snakes, but which lack the financial means to have the antivenoms on hand. Seems like someone would have to have some pretty strong personal reasons to devote their life to such a cause like that. Well, you know, if I can help save one life, it'd be worth it, right? Get a box on the way up. Vital's mashed and holding. She's coming back. Cops just found what was left of a couple of necking teenagers in their car. We also got word about a missing news reporter. You were right. The python got out. How much longer is this going to take? We're done with the procedure. Good. Then let's get this show on the road. We can't move her. She's still recovering. But she hasn't got used to the equipment yet. Look, at this point, I'd settle for her just finding the python. We'll take care of the rest. Oh, and by take care of, you mean kill. That was pretty much the plan, yeah. You know, it's attitudes like yours, Agent Sharp, that are the reason why people are so scared of snakes. Instead of trying to understand them and studying them, they, they what, they beat them with a stick, fill them full of bullets? I don't have time to stand here all night and argue reptile rights with you, Doctor. In case you haven't been paying attention, that thing is killing people. How do I know that your trigger-happy grunts aren't going to just start shooting Betty as well as the python? I'm running short on options and patience! If you've got another solution in mind, I suggest you offer it. Instead of shooting to kill, use this. Mega ketamine, it's an animal tranquilizer. It'll save the life of the python and my boa. We may not even have to use the stun spike. Look, I've got two of these in the lab. You give them two, three doses of this, they'll sleep like babies for hours. You were the one that said the CIA was interested in studying giant snakes, Alan. I'd imagine they wouldn't mind their own guinea pig to play with. All right. We'll make every effort to capture this thing alive. But if it comes down to a choice between saving human lives and saving that snake, I'm siding with my own species. Now, this is a beautiful day to hunt and uh... Kill something. Easy there, good friend. First, let's check out the scenery.
it up. All right, driver. Go for my signal. Okay, quick review. Those tunnels down there go on for miles. We could spend the next 12 hours trying to find where that thing went topside. All we can do is deploy your boa and hope it picks up on the Python's trail. Agent Sharp, you're gonna love this. Trucking company finally gave us a name on those vehicles we found. Brodick. Brodick. Founder and sole owner of Brodick Casinos and notorious big game hunter. Notorious indeed. Lock and load, boys. We're in Python country. Fish and Game Department's got a file two inches thick on this guy. He sponsors weekend hunting parties for rich gun nuts with nothing better to do than shoot wild game in controlled condition. That's his python down there. Well, that at least answers the question of who'd be dumb enough to let a giant python out of its cage. Let's hope two wrongs do make a right. Strike Force team, stand by until I give the all clear. Ready to kick some ass, sir. Outstanding. Open her up! Talk to me, Doc. What's she doing? I don't know. It's gotta be a reaction to those implants. Body sensors are picking up elevated cardio and metabolic rates. That's too much for her. I never should have let you talk me into this. Me? Look, my equipment is perfectly safe. Your equipment is killing her. There she goes. <laughs> Micro cam and audio plugs are up. We're broadcasting full picture and sound. GPS puts her at about... 400 feet ahead of us. Well, we can see everything she does. Congratulations, Monica. Couldn't have done it without the doctor's help. And Betty's. <sighs> Your equipment is incredible. Uh, the, the, the equipment, the... Audio, visual, thermal, retrieval unit. Yeah, that, not... Thanks, Doc. Pack your gear and let's get ready to track this python. Let's move out. Clear! Bo is about 100 yards ahead of us. All right, let's move out. Maintain a minimal distance of 50 yards at all times. Remember. The name of the game here is Control and Containment. Shoot only if you have to. We want to take this pipe on alive. Seal us in! She's moving faster and breaking off to the west. The boa seems to be doing her job. Her job? The sense out there, she'll find it. Oh, shit. We just lost the link. Hold up! I'm not getting a visual. So where did your snake go, Doc? I'm not sure. She could have picked up the scent already, unless... Yeah, this, this general area is under where it attacked the teenagers and the reporter. Pythons change their feeding ground after each kill, so if the workers were attacked in the main service tunnel, it may have staked out this adjacent area here. How do we even know the Python's going to return to these tunnels? No, we don't. Another hour or so, the sun's going to be beating down pretty strong out there. It'll seek out the coolest place possible. Now let's just hope when it does, it tells it to come back down here. Your eyes peeled. Okay, we'll split up here. Dad? 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 I told you to do that back in the plane. You must be wearing a catheter like old man. I'm not gonna wear one of those. This ain't one of your dumbass video games. You make sure you wait until you get a kill shot. Yeah, I'll remember. Oh, God, I hate you. You travel light? I don't believe in wasting bullets. One of them? Never needed more. You know, I did a Google search on pythons last night, and apparently, when they squeeze you, they can feel your heartbeat. And the faster your heartbeats, the tighter they squeeze you. Just remember what I told you. Show no fear. Oh, my God. 
Go back and flank you. Eve, what's your position? We're on your left, babe. I've got you. Possible siding behind us. Push ahead of me about 50 yards. Stagger the line. Stay put and wait for my signal. Copy that. Let's do it. What are we waiting for? Probably signal. Oh, guy like that has it all. His own casinos, tasty biscuit like her, and now fresh shot of killing that snake. And we're just, we're just gonna sit back and let him take it. Fuck that. Finally. Let's move out. Move out! Where is she? I can't tell. Damn it, I lost the signal again. You know, I'm beginning to think this was Shouldn't we wait for them? Let's stay there all day until Bonnie oh, gets her game board to work right. Look, let's find this thing, tag it, bag it, and get the That's hell out of here. Figure out, Alan. I think I've got it. This retaining wall is between us and the BOA, but it's not showing up on the GPS. And they're disrupting the signal. Hey, has anyone seen our soldiers? Brodick, we have a problem. Foley just went AWOL and Tex took off after him. Amateurs. Foley! Foley! Foley, come back! What happened? Where's Tex? I don't know. When I got back here, he was gone. Mr. Foley, I have two very simple rules here on this hunt. Number one, never leave your team. Number two, stay the fuck away from my girlfriend. Who's firing? Yeah, my boy's got him on the run! <laughs> Congratulations, James. I'm sure this will look wonderful, stuffed and mounted on the wall of your father's den. No, it'll look, it'll look great right above the fireplace. Shut up. Well, now that we've completely lost our tactical edge. Whoa, it's just me, boys. I think I found where our snake went. If I were a disgusting 80-foot reptile, those tunnels are exactly the kind of place I'd go to wait out the sun and find a drink. Then that's where we're going. Tunnel maps are back in the van. Let's fall back and reload for round two. Interference must be messing with the radio frequency, too. Either that or those jarheads decided to play hero and ignore me. AV signal's back. Betty's on the move, really on the move. She must be hunting something down. No! Work, you $10 million piece of... Wait, GPS is picking up two more signals, both inside the plant perimeter. One's moving faster than the other. She found the python. Unless she found your soldiers. Soldiers, read me! So, rock, paper, 
paper scissors. I don't see anything. I'm sure in the hell here. Now where? Which way did they go, Monica? I don't know. It's all scrambled again. Better get that stun spike ready, Doc. Abby's back. Oh, God. What? Betty's right on top of them. They're not responding. Light her up, Doc. Okay, this is a one-shot deal. I spike her, now she's out for hours. As if she even survives the voltage. Excuse me? in there. Emmett, pull the trigger! Shoot, what? Here, give me a read. Soldiers, you gotta listen to me. Constrictors use heat to see them. Huh? thermal differences. Shoot the pipes. A sudden burst of heat or cold can disrupt their fuses. The pipes are gonna get the hell out of Shoot there. the pipes? Yeah! Shoot the pipes. Use the heat and the steam for cover. Copy that. The two of you continue until you reach a surface exit. I gotta hand it to you, Doc. That was some pretty quick thinking under pressure. You saved two men's lives. And our spike. Let's keep moving. Fun yet? Well, I'd be having more fun if we could ditch the weekend warriors. This damn thing is sticking. Yeah, use mine. What are you gonna use? I think it's time to turn up the heat a little. <laughs> we got one hour of daylight left if we're lucky. Hot enough for you? No. Why don't you do me a favor and kick it up a few notches? Pops. You boys like your meat extra crispy? Gotta give me one of those. Oh, <laughs> man. No, 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 no. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why dolphins? Why do I work with them, you mean? Huh. Well, they're intelligent, social. They interact well with humans. <laughs> Guess it makes it a little easier to get to know. <laughs> so what about you? Why snakes? Well, they're intelligent. They're uh, uh, pretty independent. Occasionally known to have bad tempers and uh, not particularly social. They keep their distance from humans, especially. You all right? Yeah, just a little pissed. Want to take five? Good plan. <sighs> Truth is, you really want to know? I lost someone very close to a snake bite. When I was six, I, I traveled with my family through South America. We were staying in this little village just outside of Buenos Aires. And one night, my little sister goes to get a drink of water, steps on a pit viper that was curled up under the bathroom sink. 
The village doctor couldn't figure out which antivam to administer by the time my dad did the 15-mile drive to the nearest hospital, and she was already... I'm sorry. I don't know, I guess I... I figured that working on the antivenom, I'd, I'd learn something about them. And how's that working out for you? I don't know. For starters, I've learned that um, I gotta get out of the lab more often. You know, I hate to interrupt getting to know you, Tom, but could we possibly keep moving? Betty's sitting tight. There's another signal moving toward her. It must be the Python, quick. What's the location? I don't know. I think she's in some sort of service tunnel or... Diversion tunnel. Look. She's in one of these two passages, both of which are located directly underneath the main pipe tunnel. They're connected by this link here. It's like they're part of some sort of overflow system. If we could seal off that level. Those snakes would be contained. True. But who's going to volunteer to be trapped in those diversion tunnels while trying to locate and sedate two supersized reptiles? No, we don't have to send anybody in. We flush them out. How? We flood the system. We force them to go where we want them to go. And according to this, the sublevels both drain into this underground reservoir here. Well, your men could go in and back clean up with tranquilizers. All right. Kazutova, you there? Listen up, I need... Sublevel diversion tunnels one and two sealed off immediately. And all teams mobilized to the reservoir junction 27 B. Preparation for target recovery. And I need it all yesterday. We don't have a second to spare on this one. Do you copy? Over. I'm on it. Out. Boys and girls, time to move. Let's trap this rat. We've got A.V. back. It's weak, but it's... Damn. What? I don't think you want to see this. Well, what is it? Looks like the python's trying to get busy with your boa. She's the only species of boa that lays eggs. I mean, I've tried in the past to get her to mate unsuccessfully. I mean, I, in vitro even, nothing's worked. Well, it looks like she's putting up one hell of a fight now. Ooh, is... That his... Uh, vestigial hind leg. The uh, male python uses them like spurs during mating. Oh, now that. I'll go check it out. Mr. Danner, you and James go with him. Maintain radio contact at all times. Oh, and Mr. Danner, you're in charge. Looks like the bow is on the run. Damn it, we need her to keep that python interested long enough for that sublevel to be sealed off. Oh, he's still interested. The python's still following her. I can't believe I'm condoning the use of my snake in laying a man trap. Uh-oh, we've got company. GPS is picking up three more signals in Diversion Tunnel 2. Kazutova, come in. We're getting multiple signals in the Diversion Tunnels. You send somebody down here? Kaznatova, do you copy? Whoever it is, we gotta get him out of there. In about three minutes, that tunnel's gonna be filled with several thousand gallons of water. And there's still time. Stand back, boy. I'm in charge. Does anyone else get the feeling that we're completely lost? Boy, give it a rest. I got this. You know, that can't be good. Someone's coming. Or something. One shot, one kill. Nothing more, nothing less. Good night.
right. Open wide, you son of a bitch! We're gonna get out of here now. Come on! Hold up. Give me some more light over here. Baby, look at this. I'd say your snake didn't come here to drink. She came here to nest. Yo, Will, there's only one problem. The snake I ordered wasn't female. These must be the water tanks. This is the main sub level. There's dozens of rooms like this. Shit! What? What is it? I forgot the bag and the monitor and the... It doesn't matter. Come on, let's go. Wait, where are we going? There's no way out of here. You know how to swim, don't you? What? And the waves. Oh, shit. Okay, baby. Let's put the egg back where we found it, shall we?
Aren't you amazing? You should see me do it out of the water sometime. Whoa. I'll be right back. What? There's a grate about 60 feet that way. I think it leads to a different room. Yeah. Let's go for a swim. say we either go after the python and your bow without any radio or tracking support whatsoever or we call it a day and get the fuck out of here you're called doc who the hell are you it's funny, I was just about to ask you the same question. Roddick. Have we met? Nope. Uh, asshole! Give me the idea what you've done! Yeah, well, whatever it is, I sure it's nothing compared to what I'm about to do to you if you don't get the fuck out of my way! Let him go. I said, let him go. Mr. Brodick, you're under arrest for poaching and illegal animal importing. Take him away. You all right? Then let's go. Come on. went to 27B. Nobody was home. We've been following you ever since. Sharp's dead. We know. We found his body in the reservoir. You didn't happen to find the AV monitor down there too, did you? No. But we've got your laptop equipment up and running at our base camp in Philadelphia. We'll be there in 10 minutes. Business. Well, sort of. I've got GPS and audio. Visual's basically a bust. Implants must be damaged. Location? About four blocks east of us. What's it doing all the way over there? Probably checking on her brood. What are you talking about? Oh, don't you know? We stumbled into her nest. Broke one of her eggs, accidentally. That's why that bitch reptile killed my girl. Can you play back on the video feed? Yeah, sure. Give me a sec. Okay, I got it. Okay, slower. Stop, there. Zoom in. The only species of a bow to lay eggs? But that's impossible. There's no way he could impregnate her and then she lay eggs within an hour, right? No. She must have already been pregnant. That's why she was fighting off the python so hard. She hadn't just given birth, she was defending her nest. Either that or she's just got good taste in men. Oh, no. Why 
is she letting him eat her eggs like that? What's wrong with her? She must be too injured to fight. When was this recorded? 15, 20 minutes ago. Look. Well, at least we know she's all right. And we know she's headed after the python. You're telling me your snake has a sense of vengeance? I think that's what we're about to find out. Gee, I wonder if you officially made her shitless, Brodick. McIntyre. Well, just don't stand there. She was pregnant. It must have been a combination of the food snakes and the, and the growth hormone, or, or... Or maybe it was just nature's way of letting you know you're doing all right, Doc. What is that? Whatever it is, it's live. It sounds like machinery. It's music. I thought you secured a five-mile perimeter. My barbecue.
I need more men ASAP. Bitch, remember me? Find her. We know where Ernest is. We'll find her. Why? You and me. We make a pretty good team. Hmm. And Betty makes three. 
Ready? Ready. 